We're celebrating what began with a very bold idea when Elijah invented his safety brake and then demonstrated it about a year later to prove that it worked. The 170th signifies Otis's first sale, basically. It happened in 1853. We sold three elevators. So that's officially when the company started, when we started selling elevators and the business was created. Of course, he did his safety demonstration at the Crystal Palace where uh, he rode up on the machine several times a day for almost a month. And he proved to people that it was safe by having the rope cut while he was on the platform and then dipping his hat to people saying, all safe, ladies and gentlemen, all safe. From about 1858 on, it was Elijah and his two sons running the business. That was really significant because Elijah died about three years later. He was only running the company for about eight years. Both Elijah's son, Charles, uh, and Norton, the younger son, uh, were very significant. Norton showed uh, a skill with doing the books and meeting with customers and going out and seeing the world and looking at new technologies and meeting with people. So they were a perfect team. Charles was really good at organizing factories and manufacturing, uh, taking orders and doing all the specifications. The sons did uh, get very engaged, got very involved. And for the next 40 years, they led the company. So that took us all the way up to the turn of the century. The invention of the safety brake was incredibly significant. It fostered in a new era, created a business, the elevator business, the whole elevator industry, basically. As we made advances in elevators, it made buildings or enabled buildings to grow taller and thus enabled more buildings and enabled cities to grow, enabled skyscrapers to be grown. So having a safe elevator was uh, really significant, very important. He invented a system where elevators could be used anywhere. So now hospitals, stores, apartment buildings, office buildings, any kind of building could have an elevator. 